Hey YouTube, Alan back with another Math System Monday and for today's pick I've gone with a different type of genre for me and that's Ultima 4 by Lord British. Now Ultima 4 is a rare kind of RPG. You don't see that many RPGs in the Math System and apparently this is a pretty good one. I can't really comment because other than, you know, trying out for a few minutes I haven't really played and to be honest I don't think you should judge RPGs unless you've actually given them a good go. I did encounter this when I was younger um, and I kind of was tempted to pick it up. I, was, I also was tempted to pick up Put and Put Her Golf at the same time. So what an, what an odd kind of set of games to be kind of looking at and judging between. But I actually ended up not picking up either of them that day for whatever reason. Uh, I think Ultima was actually, I think they had mislabeled the price. I think I thought it was like something like a £10. And when I brought it up to the cash register, it was like £30 or something like that. And I was like, whoa, no, that was ridiculous for a mass system game come on by that stage most of them were down to like 15 or under so yeah i didn't pick it up uh i did want to get it back into the collection though because i had that kind of connection where i was like oh i want to get that game eventually so back in 2010 i picked this copy up now i picked it up and it also as well as coming on what you see here you have your standard cartridge and you have your manual which is your 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 typical master system manual this is not particularly tick for an rpg you know i mean there's a decent bit in it but but not that much i suppose which consider um how nintendo were treating um you know rpg releases and and being afraid that people wouldn't pick them up you know you kind of think they might have put a bit more effort and in a way they did, and I'll get to that. You have the adventure role playing kind of purple thing. Or is that lilac? And you do have a bit of a big, you know, blurb at the back. Lord British, the wise and compassionate ruler of Britannia, wishes to erase the legacy left behind by the three evil lords. To do so, he must find an avatar. An avatar is the one who has achieved enlightenment in the eight virtues. Honor, valor, sacrifice, compassion, justice, spirituality, honesty, and humanity or humility. Only the most virtuous of souls can complete the perilous journey that lies ahead. If you think that you are the saviour for whom Lord British is searching, then prove your worth by taking on the Quest of the Avatar. Yeah, they don't actually mention that's the subtitle, Quest of the Avatar. And of course, this is a big PC release back in the day. Um, screenshots trying to get those in. And it's very text-driven, you know, very menus, very little graphics, which is why, you know, the gameplay doesn't have that much to show in the background there. Um... Yeah, so, I mean, it looks interesting. And then it says, players, one, up to three if games are saved and altered. So, um, yeah, this is also an unusual one because it includes battery backup. You didn't see that too often on the mass system. And I'd imagine that probably contributed to why when I brought it up to the counter that time, it was more expensive than I was willing to pay for. Uh, I know. It's kind of weird as well. Even though they do have origin si systems, they have, like, by Lord British, you know, they kind of really emphasize that. Now, I talk about the manual not being huge. When I got this game, I actually also got this, the history of Britannia as told by Kyle the Younger. And I think this helps flesh out the world. And this is all, this is the English version. So this is, um, you know, th th this did not come with all of the versions as, as far as I understand. Essentially, depending on the region, you might notice this doesn't actually fit in a manual because the size of the box. It wouldn't fit inside. So it typically would have come like attached like that. And that means it's an absolute nightmare to get these. And there's actually two of them. I have one. You know, um, I can't remember what the other one is. Probably Beastiary or something like that. And this goes into a lot more detail. And to be honest, if it was me back in the day, and I didn't see these when I picked mine up, you kind of really do want this. This is the real manual. And lots of details, lots of pictures. You know, this helps you get in to what you are going on about. I, Lord British, would like to tank Roe or Adams deterred for his invaluable collaboration on the plots of this great quest. So there's a lot of tanks there, which is kind of nice too. So really cool to have this in my collection. Now, I don't know if that in all versions, you know, for different systems or whatnot, but that is hard to get now. And I really wish I had the second one, but I didn't. But to be fair, when I picked this up in 2010, I got my version for like 10 pounds delivered, including that extra booklet. And in the second auction, at a similar time, I managed to get this item, which I'm unfolding, and that is da, 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 the map that should have come with the game, and I can't even fit this in, screen, in camera, and that is the Ultima 4 World. Um, and I always love when games, especially RPGs, came with these, so you could kind of get a view for where you're going. Of course, it's all in this kind of uh, non you know, human language or non-English anyway language. I don't think it is a real language. Uh, you know, the place names. Is there anything on the back? And yeah, oops, not my camera. 
On the back then you get another kind of guide to weapons and monsters and armor and all that sort of stuff. So it's really, really useful. And this, this I actually got in a second option, as I was saying, delivered for something like $2.99. I was the only person who bid on it. Um, so I have a near complete set, you know, for what, 13 pounds delivered. I don't think I can complain with that. Um, and as I said, it's not my genre. But I did want to get it because I had that personal connection. And someday maybe I'll get that final book. But looking at prices on eBay, yeah, it's it's hard to pick up these days. I've seen people asking for hundreds and hundreds just just for, uh, you know, parts of the set and whatnot. And it kind of goes crazy. I'm sure, you know, there's probably a good deal set out there, but it is all about patience. So anyway, this one has kind of run on a little long, but there was a few bits to go through. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you again next time for another Master System Monday.